back. I'm in the kitchen with a chef Bill Fuller getting ready to celebrate Winter Pasta Fest. It's an annual event at Casbah Restaurant in Shadyside. Bill's here to show us how to make two popular pasta dishes. All right. How you doing? I'm good. I'm ha ready to eat. Happy you know, New Year. Happy New Year. And you know that I love pasta for breakfast. So this is I know. Awesome. I know. So this is actually now that you're doing this show, I'm just going to do pasta every time I come on. I love it. All right. I'm so totally in. You will be next year. You'll be 300 pounds, <laughs> but it'll, but you'll be happy. So. But hey, that's all that matters. That's all that right? matters. Okay. Before we get started with these two dishes, right. I want to know what Pasta Fest is all about. What do you guys do? So every season we. You know, at Casbah, we have some really nice pastas in the menu. We have five or six all the time. But every season, we take a week, and we do another, like, 12. That's and so, awesome. and we do small portions, and people come in, and they'll have, you know, a couple of people might have four or five small portions and taste and share. And it's a, it's a super fun week, and we do, it's a, it's a great pasta fest. And the, yeah. everybody complains about it. It's a ton of work. The, so everybody runs around for a week, but we have a blast, too, at the same time. So what are some of the pastas that you have? All right, so... <clears throat> uh, in addition to like our, our orchetti, our, new, our, our gnocchi, the casserici I'm making, which are some standard pastas, we're going to be doing a black pepper pappardelle with like a rabbit sausage. Mm. We're going to be doing nudie, which is like a ricotta with like a light nudie. shell. Nudie, it means naked. Oh, I we'll, was going we'll to say, that. sounds a little, okay. We'll do that someday. Okay. I'll bring it in. I, uh, so, uh, so we also do a good number of vegetarian pastas, a one filled pasta is a squash uh, cascanceli, which is like kind of like a twisted ravioli. Um, and then a gnocchi with some duck and foie gras. It'll be pretty good. Gnocchi is the only one out of those pastas that I actually know. So. Well, pappardelle is just like a big wide fettuccine. Oh. Okay. And castoriccia is this. And so what yeah. it is, is a red pepper pasta. We take uh, red oh, pepper yeah. juice, uh, flour, egg, salt, and extrude it. And it makes this like twisted shape. And this are all the pastas you serve homemade? No. Some, <laughs> that would be uh, intensive. No, a lot, a lot are like the, the nudi, the gnocchi, the pappardelle, this. But like the orchetti and the orchetti pasta, it actually is a pasta that works better as a dry pasta. Oh, I see. Okay. So. Well, it's a good chance anyways to try some new pastas. But like a lot myself. of them, a lot of them are. We started to make pasta for next week already. All right. All right. So the first one is uh, the red pepper casariccia. And so it's a really simple pasta. Uh, and it's uh, a bunch of jumbo lump crab meat. And, and uh, the casariccia, which we cook. Now, fresh pasta, which we talked about last time, takes not very long to cook. Right. It basically just starts to float, and it's ready to go. So I'm going to bring it out, and I bring over with it some of the pasta water. And an important thing to do with pasta is not get rid of all the water. Right. Save some of it. Save some of it, because it, it helps make the sauce. All right. So we'll get all that in the pan. And while that warms back up, these are some tortelloni with a tomato spinach filling for mm -hmm. the second pasta. And I'm going to put these Let's in. Let's drop those in. Let's drop these in. You're bold. I don't get my hands that close to boiling water. Well, the thing is, <laughs> if you drop it this high, it yeah. splashes. But if you come down low and just place it in, it doesn't splash. So, so it's actually safer to get close. OK. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Makes sense. All right. Thanks, Phil. <laughs> You're no, no, no. It's, I've taught so many people that in my whole life. Yeah. So we have some roasted garlic in there. Okay. And then, so the, the whole... Those are whole garlic cloves, too. Yeah, and it's, it's roasted and soft. Here, you want to taste? No. All right. I have to talk to some more people All right. today. <laughs> and this is our, our, <laughs> this is our casariccia butter, and it's basically um, garlic and parsley butter. So wow. the thing that makes pasta good... Is butter? Is butter. <laughs> You know, that's funny, because I think that butter makes pretty much everything better. Yeah, I've never actually put butter on ice cream. Well, but it's, kind of, it's cream based, yeah. so. But I mean, everything else I've ever put butter on is better. So now this parsley butter is melting in there. Wow, that's really neat. So is, is the parsley like basically a puree? You get so it down to a puree. We, we blanch the parsley and put it in a blender and puree it and then add in some butter. And that's parsley butter. That, and that's pretty cool. So this Wait. dish, while that butter melts, gets also sea scallops. Now, Ooh, look at that. Wow. Those um, look beautiful. Would you hand me that little plate over there? So these uh -huh. are sea scallops. This We're, one? Yep. And what it is, is this, you remember the shell gas station? Yes. That's a scallop shell. Okay. And so sea scallops are the muscle that opens and closes the shell. And so these um, are from scallops probably, you know, bigger than this dinner plate. Wow. But anyhow, they're very nice scallops. We get super nice scallops. They look beautiful, and you've done a fantastic them. job cooking them, it looks yes. like. Yes, and oh, thank you very much. <laughs> that's, what, so, that's what happens when you're a corporate chef. When you, when you cook a <laughs> scallop, when you sear it, you want to get like a nice caramelization on the surface, and okay. like, there's a lot of sugars in that scallop, and it browns them and makes them good. All right, so we'll make our first dish. Looks beautiful. So it's just, again, crab meat, the casariccia pasta, some parsley butter, and then uh, 
Lovely. 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 Looks beautiful. We get that out of the way. And then put a beautiful scallop right on top. And this is one of the dishes for Pasta Fest? This is one of the dishes for Pasta Fest. Okay. Then hold on just a little. Oh, sorry. I'm jumping the gun here. Uh, well, just a couple of leaves of parsley. There just you go. Just add to it here. Let me lift this up so right. Bill, uh, Brian can see. And so this pasta gnocchi is probably just about done then, right? The tortellonis? Tortellonis, yes. sorry. And that's a, a good lead in because it's just starting to float. Good. So this tortelloni, we stuffed them last night mm. and we rolled them in fresh sheets. Is that that's all right? Delicious. All right. And we, so good. we made this pork sugo. So what this is is a slow cooked tomato sauce, big chunks of pancetta in there, which is Italian bacon, mm -hmm. render them off. Add some oregano, tomato, cook it down, 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 and then to make it nice, creamy white, we put in some butter. Of course. So. Put that on the bottom of the pan. Put this on the plate. That All looks right. great. Is and that it. broccoli rabe? It is. That's a nice transition there. You're good at this. I'm tr I'm, you said that in all of your time here on Pittsburgh Today Lab, you've never been on a segment where you didn't get the wrap. Right, right. Am Not I getting the wrap? Pretty soon. So this, this is. <laughs> this is <laughs> This is broccoli rob, <laughs> and I thinly sliced some garlic and then rolled it off, and then added the, the rob or the rapini. I love which is that. One of my favorite vegetables, and just just in time, totally just in time. Your tortelloni. We got done. some tortelloni floating. I can't wait to try this one. This one looks great. And pancetta. Do you need to use pancetta? Can you nope. use bacon? You can use bacon. You can use prosciutto. You can use whatever. These look delicate. They are very delicate. And in fact, I'm thinking about. That. One second. So perfect. Oh, we got to top it. More butter? Uh, no, some, <laughs> some uh, Pecorino Romano cheese and a few pine nuts. Wow. And. Toasted? Toasted. Toasted pine nuts. Look at that. Okay, these look, both of them look amazing. Let me wow. take one bite before we have to go. All right, anyhow, so we're, we do this next week, yep. all week, only at dinner. Um, Dustin, the chef, is threatening to kill me if I make him do it at lunch. Mm. And. Uh, It'll be a lot of fun. And delicious. Is that all right? It is amazing. All right. Wow. Okay, for a copy of today's recipes, go to kdka.com slash PTL. Bill shares them with us there. Or you can visit Casbah and Shadyside to try them for yourself. Believe me, you want to. They're uh, there during Winter Pasta Fest uh, starting Monday and running through Thursday. Some delicious recipes.